right from the mineral-rich countries of Africa to the booming economies of Asia and back to the tech substations in North America, here is a glance at the wealthiest person on every continent. Africa Aliko Dangote For many years, Aliko Dangote has consecutively and constantly maintained his position as the richest man in Africa. Born on April 10, 1957 as Alehaji Aliko Dangade, the Nigerian mogul built himself a name of being a rich man and a philanthropist. His story is very similar to those of many billionaires around the world, who started small but with gigantic dreams. Even though Dangade was born into a wealthy family, he was also a business-oriented individual from a young age. With a degree in the Bachelor of Arts Science degree in Business Studies from Al-Azhar University, Cairo, Aliko's wealth was only a dream waiting to be harnessed. Make no mistakes, what he became today is simply a result of his tenacity and years of hard work. While so many people have to come to terms with the fact that he is Africa's richest man, there are some interesting facts about him unknown to most people. Let's take a look. Dangade made his first money while in elementary school. According to reports, the entrepreneur was known to trade cartons of sweets while in primary school to make money. It is from these lowly grounds that his interest in business rose. At 21, he borrowed roughly $3,000 from a relative to import and sell agricultural commodities in Nigeria. Aliko is the richest black person in the world. According to a Forbes assessment in April 2020, Dangade has a real-time net worth of 8.7 billion dollars. On Forbes' list in 2020, he soared at number 189 on the world's billionaires, number 66 on the world's most influential people, and number one on Africa's billionaires 2020. He is the founder of the biggest cement factory in sub-Saharan Africa. Dangade founded Dangade Cement back in 1981, and his long-term dream is to buy Arsenal Football Club as Africa's richest man. Antarctica – Arnold W. Donald According to the Australian Antarctic Division, no human being is indigenous to Antarctica. This simply means that no one can truly call the continent home. Nonetheless, some groups of scientists are allegedly holding up on the remote and frozen landscape all year round. Although remote and frozen, some people are known to have made a lot of money on this continent. One of such persons is Arnold W. Donald, the president, CEO, and director of Carnival Cruises, who in 2016 got a raise that shot his salary from $9.4 million to $9.9 million. There are, nonetheless, some interesting facts about Arnold people do not know. Arnold grew up in the 9th Ward of New Orleans during segregation. According to him, his father was a carpenter who built the very house they lived in. He is the youngest of five children. However, his parents were known to welcome a total of 27 foster kids over time. Donald attended St. Augustine High School in New Orleans, a Catholic school for African-American boys, which was credited for giving him the self-confidence of being successful and ready to make a difference in the world. He then went on to have his very first job at Monsanto, a St. Louis-based agrochemical company. And then, at age 32, he was already a manager. Two decades later, he became a part of investors who bought Monsanto's equal sugar substitute. Asia – Mukesh Ambani Billionaire Indian industrialist Mukesh Ambani was a one-time fourth richest person in the world. And now, at this time of this video, he is the tenth richest man on the globe. Right above him is the likes of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and Mark Zuckerberg. Mukesh is the chairman and managing director and largest shareholder of Reliance Industries Limited, RIL. Ambani is at last year was the richest man in Asia, with a net worth of over $81.6 billion. Here are some interesting facts about this billionaire businessman. Mukesh is most times called by his nickname, Muku and owns the world's largest refinery. A very strange but surprising fact about this billionaire is his dislike for celebrating his birthdays. Well, he rarely celebrates his birthdays on exceptional occasions. Interestingly, 
this billionaire accounts for approximately 4% of his country's GDP. Even funnier still is the fact that Mukesh's overall wealth is greater than the GDPs of Niger, Latvia, and Botswana. Even when we decide to combine the GDPs of these countries, it still doesn't get close to the man's wealth. And Bonnie gets about $32,000 every single minute. That is, by the end of this video, Mukesh has allegedly made over $300,000. And that's not all. His residential property is one of the most expensive in the world. Australia – Gina Reinhardt Unlike every other continent's richest person already mentioned, Australia's richest person is a woman. Not just any woman, but Gina Reinhardt, who, according to Forbes, is the ninth richest woman in the world. Gina was born in Perth, Western Australia, on February 9, 1954, as the only child to Langhope Margaret Hancock. Unlike the eight women before her on the list, Reinhardt built her own fortune from scratch, instead of inheriting it. Remarkably, he parlayed her mother's bankrupt estate into a mining empire that includes Western Australia's enormous Roy Hill iron ore mine. Back in the 1960s, Lang Hancock had discovered iron ore in Pilbara region of Western Australia, and Gina spent her childhood with her parents in the remote Pilbara in the northwest of the state. Her father had, from an early stage of his business, acknowledged her as the natural successor to his business, thus making sure she spent a lot of time by his side. There by his side, Gina learned all her father's methods. She also gained a good relationship with both her parents and a close bond with her father also sharing many personality traits. However, he left nothing but bankruptcy to his daughter. In 1992, Reinhardt was made the executive chairman of Hancock Prospecting Group and had since proven herself to be an astute businesswoman on the world business stage. Europe – Bernard Arnault The luxury goods CEO, Bernard Arnault, saw his net worth rise steeply, resulting in dethroning Jeff Bezos who has been at perch atop at some point. According to the Forbes record of real-time billionaires, Bernard became the world's richest man on Monday, December 19, 2019, with a net worth of $109.6 billion. At roughly 10.30 a.m. Eastern, shares of his luxury conglomerate LVMH skyrocketed to about $458.46, thrusting Bernard past Jeff Bezos. Nonetheless, the title was short-lived as, by 4 p.m., before the close of market, Amazon stock rose by 0.7%, taking Jeff back to his former position. Arnaud, however, finished the day with $109.3 billion to his name, compared to Bezos' $110.1 billion. There's no doubt that Arnaud may be heading for the number one spot on the list, since he'd done so more than three times in this current year. Here are some fascinating facts about the world's third richest person. Bernard Jean Etienne Arnaud, born on March 5, 1949, in Roubaix, France, schooled at Maxence van der Meersch High School, Roubaix, and eventually graduated with an engineering degree from École Polytechnique, an institution of higher education and research in Palaiso, back in 1971. Right after his graduation, Bernard joined his father in his business, where he grew with the company till he was CEO in 1977. And, in 1979, he replaced his father as the president of the company. At the age of 21, while on tour in the United States, Bernard realized the importance of brand value when a taxi driver he hired identified France with the name of Christian Dior more than anything else. In 1984, Bernard bought a nearly bankrupt company. A gauche willow bose, which was into retailing fashion and manufacturing. The investment was his passageway to the luxury business world. Later, he nearly sold all the assets, keeping only the prestigious brand Christian Dior and Le Bon Marche. South America Carlos Limhelu According to Forbes magazine in 2015, Mexican telecommunications magnate Carlos Limhelu catapulted past Bill Gates to become the world's richest man. But most Americans still know approximately little about this private man with a $72.5 billion fortune. Here we will reveal some interesting facts about this millionaire. He is the first world's richest man from a developing nation. 
Undoubtedly, 2009 was very kind to the super-rich and poorer nations, since Russia and Brazil each doubled their billionaire counts, while China's new total of 64 billionaires ranked second only to America. Carlos, as an owner of more than 220 companies in banking, railways, telecommunications, and restaurants, just to name a few, saw his fortune shoot up by $20.8 billion last year. In addition to owning about 6.9% of the New York Times company, Carlos loaned the publisher about $250 million, basically saving it from financial ruin. Lately, rumors that the billionaire might buy controlling stock in the company caused its shares to skyrocket to an incredible amount. He has nonetheless come forward to deny these rumors. Unknown to so many, Carlos Slim is from a Lebanese family. Julian Slim Haddad, Carlos's father, immigrated to Mexico from Lebanon in 1902 to escape military recruitment. He eventually fashioned a very successful importation and real estate business worth millions of dollars. North America – Jeff Bezos The last name on our list today is Jeff Bezos. The CEO, founder, and president of Amazon is known as one of the internet era's biggest success stories. Nonetheless, before becoming the richest person in the world, it would interest you to know that Jeff came from humble beginnings. Even though he is the son of a teenage mother and absent father, Jeff showed a lot of promise at an early age. Right after he graduated from Princeton University and left his finance career, he launched Amazon from his garage in Seattle. That said, these are some things you probably didn't know about this tycoon. Jeff's mother, Jacqueline Bezos, then Jacqueline Jose Jorgensen, was only 17 years old and just a junior in high school when she had him in 1964. At the time, her high school officials told her she would not be allowed to finish her education there. At one point, she was known to have struggled endlessly to make ends meet while working as a secretary, and didn't even have enough income to afford a phone. According to the 2013 biography of Bezos by Brad Stone, the everything store, Jeff Bezos and the Age of Amazon, the billionaire's biological father was a unicyclist and circus performer. His father, in one interview, revealed to have not seen Jeff in decades and wasn't even aware he was his biological father. There you have it, the richest person on every continent. If this video was insightful, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell button to be notified whenever we upload videos like this one. That's it for me, guys. Don't forget to stay classy and safe. I will see you in the next video.